Welcome to the MoviMod and Field Distributors Basic and Intermediate Training. This is a class that SCW Eurodrive has put up on its video channel to help you understand these two closely related products and make the most out of them. I'm Don Congdon. I'm a corporate trainer at SCW Eurodrive at the U.S. headquarters, and I'll be your instructor as we go through and learn about MoviMod and Field Distributors. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me begin by explaining that this class is actually divided into two sections. Part one, which deals with MoviMots, is sessions one through eight, and part two, which deals with field distributors, is sessions nine through 11. First of all, let's answer a very obvious question. What's a MoviMot? Well, that's an interesting question. MoviMot is an important product at SCW Eurodrive and has been for some time. MoviMod is important to us because it was our very first decentralized variable frequency drive. Now, if you don't know exactly what a variable frequency drive is, don't worry, because we'll be talking about that in much greater depth later. But right now, just think of it as a motor controller. It controls a motor, adjusts its speed, maybe manages its torque. VFDs are all over industry and perform all kinds of tasks. MoviMod is special because it's decentralized. That means instead of sitting in a control cabinet, it's sitting close to the motor that it controls. And in the case of the picture you see here, it's sitting right on top of it. MoviMod came out in 1997, and at the time it was really an unusual idea to place the VFD right with the motor. Before that, VFDs typically were sitting inside control cabinets, often far away from the motor, connected by long and expensive cables. Of course, today, decentralized technology is nothing special. It's very routine in industry, but back in 1997, it was definitely something unusual. SEW Eurodrive hasn't been sitting still when it comes to decentralized technology, and we've offered many additional models of VFDs since that time. But you're here to learn about MoviMot because there's a lot of them around. So let's continue. MoviMod is now in its fourth generation. In fact, we usually call it MoviMod D to identify it. There was a MoviMod A, B, and C. Those are discontinued now, and MoviMod D is the current product. It's been widely used in many industries. You'll see it in logistics. You'll see it in airports. You'll see it in all kinds of conveyors. It's all over the place. It's also an excellent choice for replacing mechanical variable speed drives. Back in the old days, and still in many places, people use mechanical devices to control the motor's speed. But electronic control is really where it is today, and MoviMod is an excellent and affordable choice to replace a mechanical variable speed drive with something much more flexible, powerful, and versatile. As you can see in this picture, it can mount directly on the motor. It can also mount nearby on a special mounting plate that you could bolt to the wall. It doesn't need a control cabinet. It's designed just to sit out in the open and be exposed to the environment. And that is something that many decentralized products really specialize in being out there. It's a highly customizable and flexible product. It has many control and communications options. It's also extremely simple to set up. You can set up a MoviMot in just a few minutes, as I'll demonstrate in a later session of this class. However, MoviMod is not stuck being simple. It can be very sophisticated and highly customized by adding options to it. We'll explore that as well. Now, you may be wondering, what's a field distributor? Maybe you know what MoviMod is, but you've never heard the term field distributor. Well, we're going to be covering that in the second part of this course. A field distributor is a product family that SCW Eurodrive developed over time to extend the capabilities of MoviMot. Our customers came to us and said, we really like MoviMot, but we wish it could do this. Can you do that for us? And SCW Eurodrive did it. We created six different products that extended MoviMot, and we call these field distributors. You can see them right here in this picture. Now, what do they do? Well, they're actually two parts. They're an enclosure and a field bus interface. That's an interface to an industrial network like Ethernet IP or Profinet or Profibus. Those are just a few. There are actually quite a few industrial networks out there and we support the majority of them. 
but it's an enclosure containing a field bus interface. Besides adding the field bus interface, it also adds extra I.O. signals. A basic MoviMod has only four I.O. signals, three digital inputs, and a relay digital output. The field bus interface and the field bus enclosure add extra I.O. So if you need extra signals for control, then this will give them to you. Some of them include specialized connectors or maintenance switches. You can see that in several of the pictures. Some bolt directly onto the side of a MoviMod or they mount nearby. And some of them actually hold the top part of the MoviMod. If you look at the one in the lower left corner, you'll see it's got three MoviMod top components sitting in it. So field distributors can really make a MoviMod do much more than the basic product. So we'll be exploring that. Now, I need to pause and have an anti-confusion warning. Maybe you have heard about a product line that SCW Eurodrive introduced back in 2015 and that's just rolling out in force right now called Movi C. And you may be thinking, well, Movi Mod D, D comes after C, so it must be a more up-to-date product, right? The answer is no. Don't confuse the Movi Mod A, B, C, and especially the current D generation with the new Movi C product line. It has nothing to do with the Movi C product line, and it's actually quite a bit older than Movi C. Movi Mod D is really in some ways a legacy product that is still going strong, so that's why we're creating a class for it, but it is definitely not newer than Movi C. Movi C is a totally new, completely revamped family of products. In fact, let me just pause and give a quick little sales pitch for it. MoviMod is eventually going to be succeeded by these three Movi C products. There's MoviMod Advanced, which works with asynchronous motors, MoviMod Performance, which works with servo motors, and MoviMod Flexible, which mounts near a motor and can control a wide variety of motors. So Movi C is really a very exciting new product. And if you have a new application, I recommend you speak to your SCW Eurodrive representative and learn about Movi C because it's really a better choice for something new than the old Movi Mod D. I'm assuming you're here because you have an existing installation you want to understand better. So enough sales talk, let's go back to Movi Mod D. Just remember, it's an older product. Okay, before taking this class, let me just answer a question that might be in your mind. Who is this class for? Who's it aimed at? And the answer is absolutely everyone. This class is both for SCW Eurodrive employees who may be taking it in their spare time or our customers. If you're interested in MoviMot, no matter who you are, you are welcome here and this class is perfect for you. Now, if you want to get the most out of this class, you're going to have to work along and do some of the hands-on activities with me. How can you do those? Well, you need to get yourself a demo unit or a trainer. This is the one I'm using. This is rather nice. It's sitting on the table right beside my desk. You can see it's got a MoviMod attached to a motor with a flywheel on it. There's a little hand control box with some switches and lights. And there's a field distributor in the upper corner there. That's one of the smaller ones, and it has an Ethernet IP interface. I will be doing all my demonstrations with this unit. However, you don't have to have one like this. You can sort of cobble one together yourself as long as you have these components. You need to have a MoviMot with a motor. It can be mounted on it or it can be mounted near it. Doesn't matter. A MoviMot with a motor is all you need. Doesn't matter what size. You should also have a control box. Now, you don't need a fancy one like this. All you need are three toggle switches and one light, and that's enough. You'll also need a USB adapter. Now, there are two kinds. There's the newer USM21A, which is gray, or the older red USB11A. Either one will work just fine. You'll also need a computer loaded with MoviTools Motion Studio, which is free and can be downloaded from our website. I'll tell you in a minute where to get that. If you want to have the field distributor experience, you'll need that too. But if you're not interested in that or it doesn't apply to you, it's optional. And finally, a DBG60 keypad is nice to have as well. I do one activity with that. But if you don't have one, it's no big deal. You can just watch the video and kind of just follow along without doing the hands-on. But if you want the total experience, you'll need everything on this screen. All right, now where can you download MoviTools Motion Studio, the engineering software that we use to work with MoviMot? 
You can get it from scweurodrive.com. And if you just go to the products link and then pick software and then startup and engineering and engineering software movie tools, you can get a link right there to download it. But I've also included a link in the description below for the video. So download and install that. You will need it eventually. Now, a little handy tip. You've already seen a few of these. Keep your eye open for red terms. These are like vocabulary words. When you see these, they're important. So try to remember what they signify. And a little warning here. These are not toys that we're working with. Nearly 500 volts AC and 700 volts DC may be present on some of the connectors inside a Movimot. These voltages can kill you. They can at least hurt you very badly. So please be careful, be conscientious. You should definitely have a kill switch nearby, a big red switch you can hit if something goes wrong. These are serious industrial machines and they're definitely dangerous. But if you follow basic electrical safety principles, you'll be just fine. And above all, if you have questions, where can you go? Well, you can contact the training department. Send an email to training at scweurodrive.com and please include Movimot D class in the subject line so it goes to the right person. And we will be happy to answer any questions you have pertaining to this class. Now, a little warning here, the training department is not a technical support department. We cannot provide assistance for your specific applications or for your troubleshooting problems. For that, you need to contact your local SEW Eurodrive representative, district sales manager, regional engineering representative, and they will be more than happy to help you with your applications. But of course, if you have questions about this class, contact us by the email shown there. All right, well, that's the end of the introduction. We'll be moving on to the class now in session number one. So get your demo unit ready and get ready to learn. See you there.